Hey guys, so I just got back from the grocery store. I've shopped for about a week. We'll still need to refill on like the fresh produce and that kind of stuff, but I wanted to show you guys my grocery haul so you can see what um, a week of grocery shopping looks like for me. Okay, okay. So first we have three dozen extra large eggs. We go through eggs quite quickly, so this should last us about um, a week, maybe a little bit longer. Um, three bags of broccoli. Like I said, broccoli is my daughter's like favorite food, and I love it too, so we eat quite a bit of it. Um, I will probably have to refill broccoli again before the end of the week. So here, produce is actually really expensive. So like pineapple is six or seven dollars right now for a really small pineapple. This is the option that we go for instead. So this is Dole's um, Harvest Best Apple Chunks in 100% Pineapple Juice. So this is all we get instead. I actually always, um, I'll drain the juice and then I will rinse off um, the fruit before I actually give it to my daughter. Uh, I do this with the pineapple and the mandarin oranges that they have here same thing I rinse them off before I give them to her and then I do that with the peaches um, I mainly do it with peaches um, occasionally I get the pineapple and occasionally I get the mandarin orange which I did this week um, but I mostly always am stocked with peaches for her because fresh peaches I haven't seen them here in the year that I've been here so um, they'll probably be available maybe more in the summertime um, out in town rather than on base but they didn't have them when last summer when we were here um, so I get her the peaches she really likes peaches Let's see I have four containers of chicken stock this is Swanson's cooking stock chicken 100% natural so I use I was making my own chicken stock but that was getting a bit tedious and, and it just wasn't working the best for us so um, I chose that brand because that was has the best ingredients. It doesn't have any sugar in it. It has very little salt. The salt that is added to it is sea salt. And so that's just the one that I felt was the best. So um, I will cook her vegetables with just a little bit of the chicken broth. So I always have, usually we'll have at least four of these bottles around um, kind of like as a staple in my kitchen. A can of... 100% all natural. The tomato paste is for a recipe that actually calls for um, paleo ketchup. So I'm going to be making ketchup with the tomato paste and then putting that ketchup into a recipe that needs the ketchup. So this will be my first time actually making ketchup, um, paleo ketchup. So I'm kind of excited about that, but I'm not a huge ketchup fan. So I don't know that I would actually eat it anyways, but we'll see. So as far as meat goes, I have boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This is almost two pounds of it. As you can see, little stickers is previously frozen. Do not refreeze. Most of the time, the only chicken that they have available for us is frozen. I was fortunate enough to find some froze, um, some fresh vacuum packed chicken, which I'll show you in a second. Um, that is from. Out, out in town off base that they bring on to base here um, for us and so that's the first time I've seen it at the at the commissary though so I was really excited about that but most of the time the chicken that we have available for us is frozen and so that's one of the annoying things is the meat that's available for us is limited <laughs> all of the chicken and um, some other selected meats are previously frozen and so you can't refreeze them so if they had like a super great deal on meat we couldn't just buy it and you know stock up on it and, and refreeze it um, so that's a little bit frustrating so we've got the the thighs and then this is what they had out um, from out in town um, it's just chicken tenderloins. This is fresh chicken that's vacuum packed. So I just thought that was really great. Um, it's one about one pound each and I need two pounds for a recipe. Then I have here four pounds of ground beef. Um, we only are going to be eating one pound this week. Um, so the other ones I'll freeze. The ground 
beef here um, is, is hasn't been previously frozen so I'm able to buy it fresh like that and put it in the freezer which is nice because this is cheaper buying the four pounds is cheaper than buying it one pound at a time or any other way so I went ahead and bought the four pounds so that we can just have that in the freezer for the next weeks to come so my husband wanted to make uh, pork spare ribs this week this is actually um, about four and a half a little over four and a half pounds of spare ribs and the recipe that we need only called for three pounds of it so we have a bit extra um, but this cannot be refrozen so we're just gonna make more of that recipe for the fresh produce I have three zucchinis um, a red bell pepper my daughter loves um, bell peppers two tomatoes um, some red seedless grapes, another one of my daughter's favorites, bananas, one of my and my daughter's favorites. We have some cilantro, which I need for a recipe, as well as mm, fresh mint. Well, that's about a week's worth of food for us, some of the fresh produce I do have to refill on, generally like bananas, um, then the broccoli will probably have to be restocked, um, and then just a few things throughout the week that we buy, but that's generally about what... Um, lasts us for a week. In my freezer I also have like cauliflower and green beans, um, some peas for my daughter, I don't really like peas, um, and then I have fresh, some fresh produce in the fridge still, um, spinach, other salad, uh, other lettuce and salad um, ingredients, I also have um, baby carrots, things like that. Um, so those those are the types of produce that I already have stocked, so it wasn't part of this grocery haul. Um, but those will be the things that I'll more than likely need to restock on throughout the week. So all the groceries here, the produce and then the ground beef up there. All of this cost me about um, $88. You could kind of get an idea of how much I'm having to spend for a week. Um, after the week is through, I probably will have spent maybe a hundred and hundred and twenty dollars depending on how much I have to restock on. I generally a lot for about hundred and fifty dollars in groceries a week um, because the produce here is so expensive I usually try and buy buy more fresh produce than <laughs> um, any kind you know than frozen but um, sometimes it's just more expensive so that's my grocery haul.